The St. Joseph Parish Spanish, Iglesia Parroquial de las Piñas, otherwise known as the Las Piñas Church Filipino, Simbahan ng Las Piñas, or Bamboo Organ Church, is a parish church in Las Piñas, just south of the city of Manila in the Philippines. The church is renowned to house the bamboo organ, a pipe organ made mostly with bamboo pipes. To the right of the church is an old Spanish convent converted into a gift shop and the entrance for observing the organ up close. Also in the church complex is St. Joseph's Academy, a primary and secondary education school established in 1914. The parish falls under the jurisdiction of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Parañaque. The parish priest is Rev. Fr. Augusto C. Pulido since July 1, 2017. History Establishment On November 5, 1795, the Archbishop of Manila assigned Las Piñas, then a small town of farmers and fishermen, to the Augustinian Recollects to establish a new church. Fray Diego Serra de la Virgen del Carmen, a native of Spain, traveled from Mabalacat, Pampanga Province and arrived on the town on the day after Christmas of 1795. Soon after, he started building the church made from adobe, volcanic, stones in the earthquake Baroque architectural style. The new parish priest was a very gifted man. He was a natural scientist, chemist, architect, community leader, as well as organist and organ builder. He also built the organs for the Manila Cathedral and San Nicolas de Tolentino Church, the main Augustinian church in the old walled city of Manila. In 1816, when the stone church was almost complete, he started building the organ made of bamboo and completed the instrument in 1824. Fray Diego Serra served as the parish priest of Las Piñas till May 15, 1832, when he could no longer perform his duties due to severe illness. He died on June 24, 1832, in Manila. Architectural history of Las Piñas Church Initial construction During that period, Las Piñas was a third-class municipality. The natives were mostly salt bed tenders, fishermen, farmers, laborers, embroiderers, and others engaged in small businesses. Despite the condition of the parish, Fr. Sarah set a goal to construct a temporary chapel and convent near the seashore made out of nipa and bamboo. The inhabitants, which were only 1,200 before, saw his dedication and in return helped him in construction by means of manual labor or donating construction materials. Evolution of architecture style From perishable materials, the natives, together with Freeview, Sarah, aspired of establishing a stone church. It will serve as the inhabitants' protection from outsiders and natural calamities. In 1797, Fr. Sarah bought the present site of the church for only 150 pesos. There was an existing house standing at that period, which belonged to the Recollect estate. He initiated and drew architectural plans for the stone church. While the foundations were being laid, big store rooms were built to keep construction materials. After three years, Fr. Sarah requested for polistas or townspeople to render the construction of the church. The request was granted and they were only given free food, equivalent to their compensation. In 1813, religious activities were held temporarily at the old chapel. In 1816, the church's roof was completed and painting of walls began. With the cooperation of all 300 families in the city, the stone church was finished in 1819. It resembles solemn simplicity, truly an earthquake Baroque architectural style. Newly constructed stone church The church had three naves, a dome, side altars with Romanesque-styled tables, crypt stones each with a replica of the Nuestra Señora de la Consolación on one side and St. Augustine on the other, a baptistry with a stone altar, and two sacristies with two wall closets each and a table with six drawers in one, and a tower with three posts topped by a spire. An antique statue of St. Joseph and life-size statue of the dead Christ, bought from San Dionisio Parañaque in the amount of two dozen 24 pieces eggs, were also among the first religious objects owned by the parish. 1829 Earthquakes 
the stone church and the parochial house was destroyed by three earthquakes in January 18, July 29, and September 30 of 1829. Don José Rueda, former governor Silo, 1925, of the town of Las Piñas concisely described the damages wrought to the church. According to him, the two arches were cracked, two naves and walls were destroyed, and the whole roof of the church including its cross beams and its dome were ruined. All the wooden structures inside the church were left standing in the midst of the rain. Restoration efforts of Fr. Sarah Fr. Sarah did not only solidify his name in building the stone church, but also in terms of architectural restoration. According to the remarks of the Most Reverend José Sequi, Archbishop of Manila, after visiting Las Piñas Church on October 29, 1831, he was amazed by the restoration works. He expressed thus, After I have seen the beautiful church of this place which was the work of the parish priest and also the very delicate adornments done in spite of the poverty of the town, and for his chair's effort to procure the best for his church even without the help he needed, the Holy Mother Church is rendering unto him the utmost gratitude and concern. Second Restoration between 1971 and 1975, the church was restored by Francisco Mignoza and partners, with architect Ludwig Alvarez, through the administration of Rev. Fr. Mark Lesage, to bring back the 19th century look of the church and to reposition the main altar to face the people, as required by the new ecumenical church guidelines. The assessment revealed that the Las Piñas church was in a depressing state due to heavily plastered walls aquamarine wall paint finish, and few fluorescent tubes hanging from the ceiling. The repair works were conducted such as removal of plaster, ranging from 3 to 4 inches thick, and removal of debris. A 9-inch clay pot was discovered during the course of repair works in the church. It was believed to be as old as the church and even contained pieces of gold which enabled Fr. Mark to continue the restoration works. The walls and the bamboo organ were the remaining parts of the original church. The original thatch roof was burned twice, thus, replaced with galvanized sheets. The major portion of the restoration of the exterior walls was cleaned to reveal the original walls. Missing stones were replaced with similar stones to limit the use of cement. Carved stones were provided by the high school students of St. Joseph Academy, as a part of their school project. Retablos, which accentuates the main altar, came from the Vatina, a store in Makati. All silver items, or retablos, were eventually donated by the owner of Vatina, after she attended a Thanksgiving Mass of the church. The original baptismal font, hewn out of stones, were discovered buried in the courtyard of the church. This was cleaned by Eduardo Castrillo, a notable sculptor. He also added a brass basin sculpture as his additional contribution. In December 3, 1972, the newly restored church was inaugurated. The original framework were retained, complementary additions were executed. It features capiz chandeliers, aged bricks, old statues, bamboo ceiling, a choir loft with antique balustrades of carved wood and potted native palms. The event coincided with the return of the Las Piñas bamboo organ on March 13, 1975 after three years of rehabilitation in Bonn, Germany, reviving the organ back to its original state. On May 9, 1975, the bamboo organ made its inaugural concert at the newly renovated church and surrounding buildings. Construction of bamboo organ See bamboo organ Establishment of St. Joseph's Academy In 1914, Belgian missionaries Fr. José van Runenkelen and Fr. Victor Zeil of Congregatio Immaculati Cordis Mariae CICM established St. Joseph's School next to the church to foster literacy in the parish community. The school, which started as a grade school, eventually included secondary education and was renamed as St. Joseph's Academy. Recognition Historical markers 
The Las Piñas Church was designated as historic structure by the National Historical Commission of the Philippines with the placing of a historical marker in 1995. In July 15, 2013, the Las Piñas Church was declared as a historic landmark by National Historical Institute. Pastors Below is the list of parish priests who served St. Joseph Church since the 1950s. St. Ezequiel Moreno, used to be the parish priest of the church during his Philippine mission. Significant church properties the local parish houses the world-renowned bamboo organ. A statue of its first parish priest, Fray Diego Serra de la Virgen del Carmen, can be found a few meters in front of its belfry. The statue was a commissioned work of national artist for sculpture, Napoleon Abueva. It was inaugurated on July 27, 1995, coinciding with the church's 200th founding anniversary. An inscription in an old church bell of Las Peñas Church stating, Siendo cura del pueblo de Las Peñas el MRP. Padre Diego Serra se fundió este equilón año de 1820. During the time of Fr. Diego Serra, the name of the town was Las Peñas until it was changed to Las Peñas. Gallery See also Las Piñas Bamboo Organ Las Piñas Boys Choir External links Music Ecumenism marks 37th International Bamboo Organ Festival Remembering the Baroque period in the 38th International Bamboo Organ Festival Official website of the Bamboo Organ Foundation References